Hey guys, this is Enlightened Bulbasaur, and it's been about nine years since I've made a YouTube video. So, to say that I am an inconsistent YouTube uploader might be an understatement. But you know what? I had an opportunity to make this video for you guys, and I thought I'd share with my favorite sets of all time. And that is the 1997 Bandai Cardass set. And this is a set that many people don't know much about, but there are so many reasons I love it, and I'm gonna share those with you. Um, first of all, it comes from the original era. Uh, like, this is like the, the during the birth of Pokemon, a year, couple years before it even came to the United States. And this particular set, um, unlike the 1996 Bandai Carter set, which I do have over there to the left, I'm not gonna show that off now, but this particular set has com completely unique artwork. This is artwork that you really will only find in this set and won't see anywhere else. And I think it really um, has just a feel that is very um, emblematic of the time in which it was made and like stuff that you wouldn't normally get to see today. So I thought I'd show this set off for you guys. So, I'm just gonna go through it. Um, try not to make this video too long, so I'll go through the cards pretty quickly. Bulbasaur, my namesake. And the really cool thing about these cards is they're, they're not playing cards, obviously. So they're kind of treated like baseball cards. Like if you look at the back of the cards, you'll see like the stats, like in this case, like the Pokedex entry. Like you'll see that Bulbasaur evolves into Ivysaur at level 16, Venusaur at level 32. And you'll get the Pokedex entry. And yeah, it's really cool. Um, so, yeah. So, okay. Ivysaur. Venusaur. And there are holographics in this set. Just like many other Pokemon card sets. Very nice. Charmander. Charmeleon. Charizard. Beautiful card. Like I said, like this is artwork that you really only see in this set. Let's take a look at the back of this bad boy. Very nice. I'm pretty sure these are all illustrated by Ken Sugimori. They all have that um, art style that's very obviously Ken Sugimori. Not else to say about that. I just love his original watercolors and his original designs. Squirtle. <laughs> A very funny looking war turtle. Blastoise. Can I repeat using string shot? A very sickly looking metapod. Butterfree. Originally the evolution of it on that. Still don't know what the mix-up there was. Weedle. Angry looking Weedle. Kakuna. Beedrill. Oh, it's like his actual, it's like using a sting, like what would happen to a real bee. <laughs> okay. Um, Pidgey. Some cool artwork there. Pidgeotto, Pidgeot, Rattata, Eradicate, that is a funny looking card. You see, you're not going to see cards that look like that these days. Like, one of the things I love about this set is it's very obvious Ken Sugimori was really just having fun with it. And, it's, you know, it's just, it's, some of the cards are kind of silly, but that's what, that's what I love about it. Spiro. Spiro. Looks like it's using a drill peck attack, maybe. Ekans using Leer. See, a lot, yeah, a lot of these Pokemon are in, like, the middle of an attack, I noticed. Arbuck. I want to say it's using Gunk Shot, but that was not an atta actual attack in Generation 1, so, you yeah, don't know, using some attack. A Pikachu. And it's cool that they have a holographic Pikachu in this set, and that it's a 
white belly Pikachu. That's, this really takes you back. That's how you know this was a really, really early set. Raichu. Sandshrew. Let's get another quick look at the back of that Pikachu. Okay. All right. Sand Slash. Nidoran female. Nidorina eating a Voltorb and a very nervous looking Voltorb. Nido Queen. Nidoran male. Nidorino. Nido King. A holographic Clefairy. Fun fact, at the very beginning of Pokemon, they almost used Clefairy as the mascot, but then they decided to use Pikachu instead. But Clefairy was originally meant to be, like, um, the protagonist's um, main Pokemon. And, and I think also the fact that this is a holographic card, and that there was, the Clefairy is also holographic and base set, shows that early on there was definitely some sort of push for Clefairy. Clefable. I mean, it is a very cute card. I can see, I, Pokemon, I can see why they would have considered it, but obviously Pikachu wins the day. Clefable. Vulpix. Ninetales. <laughs> Adorable Jigglypuff. <laughs> Wigglytuff. <laughs> Poor Psyduck. Zubat. Not fun to run into those in the caves. Golbat. <laughs> um, I want to say an inebriated Oddish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gloom. Def definitely uh, doing something there. Vileplume. Happy Vileplume. Oh, I love this card. <laughs> Paris eating a Weedle. See, this is the kind of stuff that you, you don't get in modern cards. Pokemon just flat out eating each other. That is beautiful. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about this card. What is going on? I, I legitimately have no idea. It's just... A parasect I staring down the Psyduck I, with the mushroom on its head. <laughs> That's why I love this set. Venomat should have evolved into Butterfree. Venomoth should have evolved from Metapod. It was definitely some sort of mix up there. That conspiracy theory is completely true. Diglett. Doug Trio. Meowth. That's right. Persian. Psyduck. Golduck. Mankey. Primeape. Growlithe, Arcanine, Poliwag, Poliwhirl, Poliwrath. Rarely has there been so little difference between the second evolution and the final evolution from Poliwhirl to Poliwrath. Abra. Kadabra completely just, just mind controlling this Poliwag. Poor Poliwag. Alakazam. Machop. Machoke throwing down a rock. Machamp. Bellsprout. 
not sure what that wiggly line is about. Oh, I guess it's a wee. I don't know what that's about. Hmm. <laughs> okay, this car is brilliant. <laughs> a weeping bell that's literally just vomiting all over the place. <laughs> what was Ken Sugimori thinking when he made this set? I love it. Oh my god. Victory Bell. Tentacool. A tentacruel that's about to completely mess up this electrode. Um, Geodude, Graveler, um, Golem, looks like it's using Explode, Explosion, uh, Ponita, Rapidash, Slowpoke, um, Slowbro, Uh, Magnemite. Magneton. Farfetched. Great artwork. Doduo. Doduo and Dodrio always look so unhappy, don't they? Dodrio. A chillaxed seal. Dugong, maybe using Ice Beam on a Ditto that doesn't look very happy. Grimer. Muck. Shelder. Cloyster. Ghastly. Haunter. Oh, this is a great one. Gengar. And he's clearly using Dream Eater on the Snorlax. <laughs> and the Dream Eating being symbolized by a chicken. A chicken, I think. Some sort of meat. Oh, that's funny. Um, Onyx. Drowsy. Actually, I just wanted to say, that may not be a chicken. I don't really want to think about what that might be, given some of the other cards that we've seen in this set. Hypno. <laughs> a Krabby going to town on this ditto. Oh my god. Wow. The, this ditto. Is, I mean, I thought, I thought it had bad with the Krabby, but... Boy, this kid, when they got... When the Krabby evolved into a Kingler, this, this ditto was really done for it. <laughs> a Voltorb looking into a mirror, maybe using Reflect, or... I don't, I don't know. Um, <laughs> our second exploding Pokemon of the set, Electrode. Execute. Um, Executor, a very drowsy Cubone, adorable, Marowak, Hitmonlee, Hitmonchan, Lickitung, just, just, you know, doing a number on the sweeping bell. <laughs> Is this our third exploding Pokemon of the set? Like, I I mean, you know, once, okay, twice, but three exploding Pokemon? I mean, I guess that, I guess that was a, a, a big move back in Gen 1, explosion. Yeah, that coughing looks to be exploding itself. Weezing. Rhydon. Uh, looks like it's on fire. No, not Rhydon. Rhyhorn. Rhyhorn. This is the Rhydon. Chansey using Sing. 
Tangela just uh, cozying up to this Psyduck that looks like it's crying. I don't know if cozying up is the uh, correct word. Probably maybe violating might be a more appropriate word. But uh, yeah. Also, is it Tangela or I don't know. I'll go with Tangela. Kangaskhan. Um, Horsey. Cedra. And I just wanted to say, yeah, a horsey is using smoke screen. And that's maybe a water gun. Um Goldine. Seeking. A star you using maybe a swift attack. Uh Stormy. Oh, that's cool. Um, a Mr. Mime using like a light screen or a reflect or something. Um, and totally reflecting this War Turtle's headbutt. A holographic Scyther. Interesting how they decided to make this card a holographic. Everyone thinks Scyther is cool though. So it's not totally a surprise. <laughs> a Jinx. And yeah, I, I don't know if I if I uh, I'm gonna love you back like that, Jinx. But uh, yeah. Oh, and that is you know, that's before Jinx became purple. Just another sign that these uh, cards are very old. Electabuzz. Magmar. That is a pincer, maybe using guillotine or some sort of attack. A Tauros and a Psyduck sailing again. Poor Psyduck. Psyduck has just been repeat, uh, repeatedly victimized throughout the set, I really have to say. That's not the first card time we've seen Psyduck crying. Okay, so Magikarp. Probably just splashing around. Holographic Gyarados, very cool looking card. Lapras. Whoa, this is a ditto that is posing as, <laughs> this is a weird one. It's simultaneously posing as a Squirtle, a Bulbasaur, and a Charmander. Wow, okay. <laughs> I've never seen a ditto uh, pose as three Pokemon at the same time before, but there we go. Uh, holographic Eevee, very nice, using uh, Tail Whip, Vaporeon, Jolteon, Flareon, Porygon, Ammonite, Almost R, holographic, very cool. Kabuto, holographic Kabutops, maybe using a slash attack, an Aerodactyl uh, making quick work of this Slowpoke, very nice, holographic, Snorlax, Articuno, that is a beautiful looking card. I love that card. Zapdos. Moltres. Holographic. Oh, a Dratini and this poor little Charmander that got wrapped up in the Dratini. Really makes you appreciate how Dratini and Dragon there are kind of snake like. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, the, the rap attack was, like, a signature attack of Gen 1. Oh, that was annoying to deal with back in Gen 1. Those rap attacks that went on forever. Yeesh. Dragonair. Dragonite. Very cool. Holographic. 
Mewtwo. That, that is some very nice artwork in that Mewtwo. Using mind control to lift those rocks. Maybe a psychic attack. That is awesome. A really, really beautiful card, Mew. Wink, wink. And now these two cards are really special because these are considered secret cards as part of the set. Like, they, they did not come in the same packs that the other cards came in. I Although I'd have to double check exactly how they were acquired. But these are very rare cards compared to the other cards in the set. And they're really two of my favorite cards, I'd say ever, especially this one. This one that has Trainer Red holding his white-bellied Pikachu and the three starters. That is just a gorgeous card. And it kind of captures everything that the original era of Pokemon was about. You know, those original designs, those beautiful watercolors from Ken Sugimori. It just has all, you know, all the main, all the main dudes are right there. That is just a gorgeous card. Love, one, maybe one of my favorite cards. Oh, definitely one of my favorite cards ever, if not even my favorite. I love this card. And then this is also cool. Uh, red and blue, along with uh, Charizard, Venusaur, and Blastoise. Yeah, those are, these are both great cards. Especially love this one, but they're both great. Yeah, guys, and that's the set. Um, oh, these, this whole binder is full of uh, Japanese sets. Maybe I'll show them off another time. But all right, guys, it's, it's been real. Until next time.